Hello everyone and welcome back to Old Mods 9. In the last episode, we set up this. Now what you're looking at isn't missing chunks. Well, I guess in one way it is. Um, but more specifically, it's a chunk destroyer. Um, as you can see in action here. And it, um, well, it destroys chunks. <laughs> it's pretty good at what it does, honestly. Um, now it's been going through and destroying stuff. As a result of that, we've been getting some resources, which we can jump back to our base we might lag a little just as we load our entire base. I haven't been here um, yet since loading the world, so it's just a little bit slower. Um, but specifically, it'll, it'll, it'll speed up. Take my word for it. We've got 16 Stalarite pieces. These were the tricky bits we were trying to get. Uh, we did get four last episode, and I guess in between then we've gotten, what, like 12 more? So that's pretty cool. Um, so this episode, I plan to try to make the Stalarite B. I don't know if we'll be able to, but we'll try um, so anyhow, if we jump back over here, this was, um, yeah, this one here. Um, in regards to this guy, so he's currently working. He's enchanted. The actual guy, you can see he's sparkly at the top. He has efficiency five, fortune three, and unbreaking three, which I think just affects the, um, power usage, I'd imagine. Um, and yeah, you might notice something else. The chunk destroyer itself has items in it. And the chest has items in it. And the chest is full, except for this one spot. We are extracting this as fast as we can. I'm sorry there's a wandering villager just making all the noises in the planet. In fact, you know what? I've just realized, I think I would love to just never hear a wandering trader again. How nice would that be? And maybe while we're there, are they llamas or alpacas? Um, alpacas, right? No, maybe they are llamas. Um, we'll mute the llamas. But yeah. Cool. <laughs> we should hopefully never hear that. They'll still walk past and annoy us, but we won't hear them. So anyway, where were we? Um, dimensional chest. There's one of them here. Um, oh yeah, this guy here. We've hooked him up to have a very fast importer, but it's still... I'll be honest, it's looking about as good as it was with just a normal one. Uh, we can grab some speed upgrades as well and chuck them in here, which was uh, suggested by somebody in the comments. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Bobbit, Bobbit suggested that. Um, so if we chuck these in, is it any faster? I'll be honest, I'm going to say no. Purely based on it. Not, in fact, I, yeah, I, I'm just going to say no based on the fact that it's still just one slot that's empty. What I'm curious about, because somebody else mentioned... Um, Da, 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 da. Philip uh, in, in the comments mentioned um, the speed of the chunk destroyer is currently limited to the extract of the dimensional chest, right? Well, yeah, yeah, that, which is what we're all thinking. What I'm interpreting that as, which I don't think was the intention, but what I'm thinking is maybe it's per side has like a limit in how much it can extract. You know what I mean? So like, if we sort of um how when we were putting ender gates on the builder quarry, I don't know if you guys remember that. In the past, we've put multiple ender gates on it on different sides, and it actually puts more power in, despite obviously the machine um, only needing like you know a couple thousand um, RF per tick. And the uh, ender gates we use. Sorry that I'm talking a lot, but hopefully I'm explaining stuff. But like this guy can transfer one million per tick. The side of the block might only accept you know two thousand per tick, and I'm guessing it could be the same here. I'm talking way too much instead of just trying it because there's a chance it just won't work. But what I'm hoping is that if we just chuck one on the other side, maybe that will um, extract like two sets of items. Wait, I've got done bag mode. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So now we've got two stacks going at once. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So what I'll do. I'm going to disconnect that. It, what the, what the, oh my god, I'm making horrendous messes. What was this? Flint and steel? So the, did we pick up an exporter? We did. Okay. I'm guessing this was meant to put in flint and steel. <laughs> um, let's just put that back there. Okay, cool. Um, and so yeah, what I'll do is I'll grab an entangle block. We'll entangle the dimension. Ah, you know what? We don't have to entangle the dimensional chest at all. What we'll do instead is we'll just bring the network over this way and we'll just set up like a little section. Because obviously we can use any dimensional chest. That's the beauty of the dimensional chest is that it was going to replace our use of um, everything else. So, for example, um, we grab a new dimensional chest and we slap him down here and we have our importers and we just place these on every side or you know, most of the sides. And as a result... 
Ah, we've got a lot more sides emptying at once. <gasps> and it can keep up with the system. Assuming, of course, we'll have a quick look, that somehow the, the, the quarry isn't done. And it's not. So th look, look at this. The chunk destroyer. Oh, actually. Huh. The chest is empty. But it's like the chunk destroyer itself can't put stuff in it fast enough. Very interesting. And I'm curious as... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hold on. That's very interesting. Let me entangle this itself. Oh, you can see how much stuff's in there. Okay, okay. Let's... Hold on. <laughs> hold on. The plot is thickening as we continue here. I'm going to entangle the chunk destroyer itself over here. I'm going to hope... Wait, wait. Maybe we should do that a little bit away just in case it starts chunk destroying. <laughs> Is that possible? Oh, I'm a little bit worried. Did I even... Hold on. <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't, right? It's just access to it that we've gotten. Right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> um, bound to void air. But as you can see, it has the liquids that were in it. How strange. But I can't see the items. Whereas normally you'd be able to see the items here. Very interesting. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit here. We're gonna try and figure out what exactly is going on. Um, what I kind of want to do is just see. Can we extract from this into a chest? Nothing goes there. Let's grab a second pipe. Boom, boom. Um, set this guy to extract. Put in some speed. Okay, so it, it is still working. It's still what it should be. Um, cool. It's just not visually showing it. That's fine. Awesome. I don't think it's going to be destroying my world because that's not how other stuff works when it's entangled. So let's just cross our fingers that we're not ripping apart our base. But if I slap it down here and we get a few more importers. I know we've got some in our uh, dank, but that's okay. Um, and we try this. Maybe we can pull from this guy faster than the dimensional chest can. So switch this back across. Connect up these guys. And what's that looking like? Huh. I don't really know. <laughs> Let's go check the quarry itself. Let's uh, jump back over. We'll have one. Oh, of course we're falling. Let's fly back up here real quick. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the chunk destroyer is empty in terms of actual items, which is cool. Yeah, awesome. So... What did we try before? I think we were timing of bottling it. And look at how fast it goes. So what I was going to see is if we're able to pull the items out fast enough, maybe that lets it go faster. Does it feel like it's going... I mean, it's definitely going faster than it was, but... Like, does that feel faster than the previous speed we just had it at? I don't necessarily think so. Um, although, in saying that, there's a lot of items in there. Oh, and there's even a lot of... Yeah, okay, yeah. Very interesting, because yeah, I'm wondering if like, if we keep pulling stuff out faster and faster and faster, if that's going to um, allow the machine itself to go faster and faster. We don't need it to, <laughs> but I, I did want to check that out just for future reference and I guess so that you guys know. Cool, so let's um let's see if we can make this other thing that we're attempting to make. Now, it's sort of like a magic altar, so I think we'll sort of send it over in this direction, which is kind of... Well, it sort of was our magic zone. Maybe, what about just like up here? If we chop down a few trees. I think that might work well. What other tree do we need to get rid of? Obviously, I don't want to rip up too many trees, but I was kind of hoping all this stuff would go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Wonderful. Try to clean up our inventory if it's physically possible. Um. So yeah, we are going to attempt to make a thing. <laughs> A forge, a Hephaestus forge, so that we can make the Stellarite B. Now, tier 3 forge is going to cost a tier 2 forge, um, which is going to cost a tier 1 forge. Pretty simple stuff. The tier 1 forge doesn't have a recipe when I click on it. So, how do we get it? Well, it's from Forbidden and Arcanus. So, there's probably a book that will help us. Um, some sort of manual, I would imagine. We'll have a quick look to see if that's the case. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure the quest book's going to have everything we need. So even if I can't see the book, whether there is or isn't a book, which I can't see the book. I don't know if there is a book. I thought there was a book. I don't know. I, either way, we should be fine because the quest book should walk us through everything we need. Um, so we'll jump into the quest book. 
Um, opening your inventory and opening the quest book, I've noticed, and I think it's been reported in the um, change logs for the mod pack, it'll lag a few seconds just for the first time you do it. So like, as you can see now, it's all instant when we go in. I, I just thought I'd point that out because it is a little bit startling. Okay, so we are after, oh, you know what? There's probably just a forbidden and arcanist chapter, right? Botany, interesting. What was I looking at? I don't know. I'm throwing myself off. Um, forbidden and arcanist. Here we go. So yeah, we are trying to get down here um, to these forges. So we need this. We'll be using all of that dark stone. I mean, should I just follow the actual path? Dark stone. Forbidden and arcanist adds new ways to get better armor, enchants, and more. This magic themed mod has amazing animations as well as some overpowered items like the eternal stella. So we need some stuff that I think might be in here. Which is Darkstone, which we do not have. Oh, but we've got it here. So I grab that, and that should be that quest complete. Awesome. XP, wonderful. There's some armor as well. Very interesting. Looks cool. Okay. Um, so we're going to, yeah, I guess sort of work through the chain here. Um, arcane crystals. I'm sure we've got those as well. Beautiful. Um, so there we go. Um, Nipper plants. Have you ever seen this random floating island in the sky? I don't know if I have. Um, these have the nipper plant on them. You can break these and replant them. They produce arcane crystal dust specs over time, which can be used to create arcane crystal dust. Interesting. We've got the crystals. That's all we need. So that's what we'll use. Um, and this is done by smelting them. So we don't have any extra dust lying around, but we do have a little bag on us. And if we chuck them in there, they should hopefully get smelted into dust. Cool. So that's that quest done as well. Wonderful. Um, we'll continue working down. So now we need Mandibitura dust. <laughs> Let the dust combine. Using our arcane crystal dust, we'll need to combine it with the other dust and powder. So I assume arcane bone meal and corruptite dust. Um, the dust is used in several recipes. Cool. So we need this. Oh, actually, yeah, it's got a bunch of stuff here. Cool. So if we open this up, um, we've actually got some. I think, what do we craft with this? Did we actually make this or have we gotten it from like a reward? We've crafted similar dust. I'm just wondering if we actually crafted this. Oh, it's used as like a gold? Golden orchid seeds. Spectral eye amulet. Maybe we made this? I don't know. We did something with it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. Maybe we made a dragon scale? I'm not sure. Either way, we can make this stuff. And, and I guess we have before. So it needs a little bit of blaze powder. Luckily, we can do that. And we've got the dust. Cool. Wonderful, we're, working, we're flying through them. Um, so next up is the ingot itself. So we obviously just saw that. There it is, we'll chuck those in. I guess we'll make as many as it lets us, cool. How many do I need? Oh, just one, wonderful. Um, and now we need to prep for the forge. So plenty of dark stone, awesome. And now we've got the Diorium as well, which is pretty cool. What's that? A silk touch pickaxe, cool. And so now we'll make the forge. So we need 45 polished dark stone, so Let's go ahead and make it, shall we? Um, 45 polished dark stone. So let's just click up here to 40. Now we'll go a little bit over, sure. We, we might actually need some to make this other stuff, I'd imagine. Anyhow, we need four chiseled arcane polished dark stone. So that's made out of um, arcane polished dark stone slabs, which are made out of arcane polished dark stone, which is polished dark stone and dorium ingots. Cool. So yeah, we are going to want a little bit more of this, so we'll get crafting. All right, so what do we have? We've got this, cool. We need that into slabs, awesome. And then I need, ooh, was that the right thing? Chiseled arcane polished dark stone. Oh God. <laughs> Chiseled arcane polished dark stone, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we didn't make the wrong thing. We'll refresh that. What are the other options? Arcane polished. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So I need four of those, ta-da. Um, next on our list is going to be nine arcane chiseled polished dark stone. So that's chiseled polished dark stone and nuggets. So that's polished dark stone slabs. Cool. <laughs> A little bit messy, but all's well. All's well. So this, and we'll craft that into this chilled polished, chilled polished, chiseled polished. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And then I need, how much was it? I've already forgotten. Nine of that stuff. So we're actually going to want to make, um, while we're here, I guess, a few more slabs. Boom, boom, um, boom, cool. So we make nine of those, wonderful. I like when it uses like the full ingot and we're not left with extra nuggets. That's the sign of a good recipe. 
Let me tell you. <laughs> Even the slabs, I think it's used uh, decently. Um, so, all we need left is a smithing table, apparently. That we can do. Boom. So, there we go. Oh, we also got some loot, I guess. So, let's move this stuff away. And shall we get started? What's that block of iron? We don't need that. Okay, so. This is what we require. Um, so, in the middle, we'll have... Um, a polished, gilded, or whatever, and then four around it. Cool. So it's going to be a pretty decently sized area, which makes me think I might need to rip apart this whole area as well. All right, cool. So here we are. Um, now we'll start off with the design, and then we'll obviously break the rest of the stuff. So the four chisel around like so. Um, and then what's the spacing for the rest of the stuff? One gap, and then one. One gap, and then one. And then one diagonal gap, and then one and then just framed all around. Cool, so what that means is that we do this. Boom, oh, ah, we'll, we'll fix it. Boom, boom, and then boom, boom, just to get the basic design. And so what we'll have is we will have these bits filling in the inside, and then these ones there. Does it, did that make sense, or did I somehow make it more confusing than it originally was? Either way, that, that there we go. I'm worried that I'm making some horrible designs as I dig this up, but <laughs> it's fine. I, I'm probably better off using the exchanging gadget once I finish placing the rest of this stuff. We had a bit of a yin-yang happening. That's what we'll say. <laughs> All right, exchanging gadget, cool. And so I'll just uh, cover the outsides of these and we should be good to go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. This is the structure, I believe. Let's fill this up. Cool. Um, does it look symmetrical? It does not. It does not because... Is it just because of that block? Yeah. Wow, that block made the whole thing just look wrong, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's jump in here. We'll, we'll get some rewards, sure. Source gem block, cool. Um, the eight chiseled arcane polished dark stone blocks on the outer ring of the platform can be used for pedestals or arcane crystal uh, obelisk. Crayol obelisks. <laughs> um, with the last block being placed in the center of the platform. Cool. On the top... Wait, wait, wait. Arcane crystal obelisks. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Cool. Um, on the top of the center block, place the smithing table and sneak right-click it with a piece of dust to convert it to the forge. Cool. So, we'll grab this. We'll search at forbidden... We will apparently make another dust. There we go. So we'll go boom and boom. Oh, boom. Oh. <laughs> Do I need to sh shift maybe? Boom. There we go. Wonderful. Now, I think it, it looked like it was striking lightning, but it didn't really happen. Here's the forge. Now, it's a little bit scary, and some of the item slots are almost cut off. You might need to uh, adjust your UI settings um, to make up for that, your GUI scale here. Um, we can reach it, so I'm fine with that. Um, now there's obviously a bunch of different things that we need, and we're going to have to figure out how to put those in. I guess we'll continue along here. So, um, it mentioned darkstone pedestals and crystal obelisks, so we're going to be placing those around on these pedestals. Now, let's actually read that, because I think you want to get the crystals set up early, because they generate something, I think. Yeah, they'll slowly generate aureole over time. So, to create an arcane, uh, an arcane crystal obelisk, Place down an arcane polished dark stone block, then place two arcane crystal blocks on top of it, right click it with the dust and you'll have the obelisk. Cool. So I'll tell you what, if we look at say the B, right? This guy uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. So for example, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then only one spot to put the, um, the obelisk. I imagine we can break the obelisk later, but I guess that is right to mention. Yeah, I think that's how that works, right? And then the rest of the stuff goes in those spots, maybe? I think, um, I might have confused myself. Either way, we'll, we'll make a, we'll make at least one of these guys, so does anyone remember what we needed? <laughs> polished dark stone block, arcane crystals. So polished dark stone blocks, and then arcane crystal blocks, I believe it was. So we'll grab at least four. And it will look something like this. Boom. Arcane Crystal Obelisk. Here's how... Oh, 
Here's how it looks like without the shaders. It has a little bit more definition to it and looks pretty cool. Um, but it also has a pretty nice glow or shine to it with the shaders on. It's quite majestic. Um, so what's that doing? Well, we're now getting stuff. How much stuff, how much, how much Oriole do, Oriole do we need for the B? We need only 82. That's honestly not much. Like it, realistically, if I'd made a bunch more, we'd probably have that in no time. So I reckon we're fine leaving that one just for now, at least while we try to set up everything else. Um, so what else do we need here? We're going to need a soul. Now I actually happen to know how to get my hands on this just based on memory. We grab a soul sand and then we also grab a soul um, nope. What's it called? A soul extractor. This guy here. So it's going to cost us a jar, which is made out of edelwood, which you get from edelwood logs, which you get from growing edelwood. Edelwood, edelwood. So yeah. Now, I'll be honest. I don't know how to get that. Is that in here? It is. Found within, within the dark forest biome, looks like a small tree that has been chopped in half. You need to break the branches off and collect the logs. Cool. So we need to go to a dark forest. Um, that's easy enough. Let's go biome compass. Let's go nature compass. <laughs> I'm just making up words. You know what I need? In the future, we'll have this in the future. If you guys are watching this distance in the future, you, you'll be like, oh yeah, dude, I can't believe that used to not be a thing. There'll be a time where I, where I search biome compass and I'm talking about the nature compass and the game will have I mean someone could just code it but alternatively there'll be an AI in the game that knows what, they know what I'm talking about they know what I mean and it will show me the nature's compass you know what? it might even lie it might just rename it live to biome compass just to justify <laughs> just to create an echo chamber for myself listen that's coming guys you gotta stay tuned all right stick around You'll, you'll, you'll love to see it. All right, dark forest. Here we go. Um, what dark forest do we want? I'm assuming this one, just the vanilla Minecraft one. I don't think we want any of the other ones. So let's start our search. And 1,000 blocks that away. Let's jump up. Activate our, <laughs> our super overdrive uh, jetpack. And we'll be there in a jiffy. Okay, so this is allegedly a dark forest. Now... I'll let you guys in on a bit of a secret. It does not appear to be a dark forest, <laughs> which is um, concerning to say the least that there's a mineral tree, not what we're after. Do we have any dark forest on the map? We've got a redwood. We've got some scrublands. Up, up here we have grasslands, a normal forest it looks like. Uh, another redwood forest, lots of redwood forests. We're looking for not an alpine, just a dark forest. Nothing to see here, just trying to find a biome that may or may not exist on my map. Oh, um, hmm. But it's meant to be a vanilla Minecraft one. That's what's confusing me. Highlands over here. Have we really not found a dark forest? Surely we've come across something that is justifiably a... A dark forest. Like this over here. This is It's Jade Cliffs. But it looks like a dark forest. Where we're mining. High, I'm watching at the bottom here. Oh, I just saw as well. Dark forest. Yeah. Here we go. So that's a dark forest, which means... No, it's not a dark forest. Is that a dark forest though? Yeah, that's a dark forest. Cool. So we might actually have one closer now that I sort of know vis visually what they look like. Um, They're very dense. In saying that, we really just don't have one do we mm. okay well we know where one is it's, it's near our um, other stuff so we can just zip on over here so that's um just south of our stellarite piece so let's grab our warp stone head down there and grab ourselves uh some of these trees maybe even just the saplings not sure we'll see what we get all right we're here <laughs> excellent we want to go south i think that quarry's done as well which is i don't know ridiculous i guess all right, let's fly this way. All right, so this here should be a dark forest, and it is. So now we just need the Edelwood trees, and I think, oh, what, what's happening? Hover mode on, jetpack off. There we go. This here is the Edelwood tree. So it has branches, which you can break very, very slowly, apparently, and you get them. Cool. Um, they also have logs. If I just shapeless craft, do I get everything? Um, yeah, roughly. 
So yeah, we'll, we'll mine up a few of those. Did we get saplings from that? Or how do you get saplings? I didn't really mention, did it? Needlewood. Cool. Needlewood bucket can store liquid. Cool. <laughs> Dark matter. Okay. You can make black holes. Well, uh, sure. That's that's a thing that you can do in this game. Of course. Um, what do we get? A carved evil wood. Edelwood. 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 Log. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We'll just grab as many as we can, I guess. And hope that we... Um, what should we call it? Don't need to come get more in the future. That's probably going to... You know, save us even needing to make a sapling. Or should I be manually breaking each branch? Is there like a chance for it to drop a sapling or something? I'm not too sure. Um, either way, I mean, that, that looks like a decent amount, to be honest. Let's uh, let's head back. We know where they are now, so we can come back if we need more. It's not not the end of the world. Okay. And so what are we... What, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was making a soul extractor. Excellent. So this guy needed a jar, which needed edelwood planks, which are made like that. Beautiful. We'll put a bunch of this stuff away that we don't need on us anymore. And we'll make ourselves a jar. Cool. And then a soul extractor. Cool. So now if I place soul sand down and I hold right click on it, it extracts the soul. There we go. And then we get solar sand. Now I've tried to automate this in the past and I couldn't. Just letting you know ahead of times. It was the only part of the entire... Um, Eternal Stellar setup that I could not automate. So, I mean, we've got bees now, so I don't know if I will automate this. Let me know if you want me to for whatever reason, but we might just like, at, at least for this episode, we might just make the bee, you know what I mean? And, and call it a day there or something. Uh, but now if we put the soul in here, it will eat it. And we now have one out of 10, which is what we require. Cool. Next up is blood. Um, and then there's actually no experience required. Cool. So required blood is 1,000. Now you get that by killing things in this area. Now, I think what I did in the past is I got the, um, oh, what's it called? The shop. No, I don't know what it's called. The market. Did I search market? Yeah, the market. This guy here. I think this is what we used, which as silly as that is, because when you place this down... As you'll hear, wait for it, wait for it, boom, this guy pops up, right? And I think, I don't know what we did, whether we had something that killed it, like sitting here or something, whether there was a, um, a crusher, like a mob grinder or something. We had something here. <laughs> Can I just make some spikes or something maybe? What do we have? Um, yeah, let's just get some of these. Shall we? So hold on. Let's break this. Let's place spikes. We'll see if this works. So here he comes. He's on his way. Any second now. So here he is. And he's taking damage. And he dies. And we get blood from that. So what I did in, in my previous setup is I had a machine. And we might just do it just for the thrill of it. Nowadays, we can probably just use a modular router. I think I had a bunch of integrated dynamics. Um, but we have this guy breaking and placing everything we need. So um, we'll grab a placer module and we'll search a breaker module. See if we can make one of these. Sure, it can have a wooden. No, we're not gonna put a wooden pickaxe in there. Let's at least put like a diamond one. Even if we just have a bunch of basic ones. Can we get an all the modium one? And will that work in there? I don't think it'll work, but we'll try. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that wouldn't hurt. An unobtainium one? No, okay, well. Don't know why that's not crafted yet, but we'll just use a diamond one. Cool. So, for example, this guy will break in the front. Sure. Um, and then this guy will place in the front. Yeah, sure. And we'll have him there. We'll also, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get a vacuum upgrade. No, let's just do an item collector, shall we? Should get a stack of those ordered while we're at it. <laughs> All right, so we'll place this guy here. Let's go ahead and lower the range just so it's doing just a little range around it. Cool. This guy's gonna get both of these modules. Oh, okay, well, hold on, hold on. It's not. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. But you get the idea, right? That was pretty cool, yeah? You see you see it happening? You see it's on its way? Um, so we can place these in for now. Uh, oh, actually, 
I didn't actually want to do that. Hold on. Let me grab this. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Um, very interesting. Oh, he, he auto picks it up. I see. Hmm. So then, what do I want to do? Hold on. No, what do I want to do? Redstone mode high. So if I place this in here, nothing happens. We can then get a lever. And I guess we turn it on. And it begins, right? And then I flick it off. And then all of these will land here. Because we have one available. What well, The market's there, so the rest still keep falling. And then that goes up to, I guess, at least more than we want. I mean, it's not fully automated. You can see how you could automate it. But um, we'll, we'll take it. Okay, we'll, we'll just be happy with what we got because we've got the blood in there. Um, but yeah, it's a fun little little trick you can do. Um, by the way, um, questions about how I have that happening? Um, because it, it was really early in the series that we did it, and it's one of our one of my favorite things we've ever set up. It's this over here. It looks really complicated. Long story short, this is a ritual um, block from Airs Nouveau, and then um, going into that is one of two things. One of them is a tablet of cloud shaping. And one of them is, oh, I think it's in here as well as the tablet of cloud shaping. But there's the tablet of cloud shaping and there's the tablet of sunrise. And then all this is, is just checking what time of day it is and ensuring we're only using one ritual to, you know, bring it back today or make the weather clear. Um, but that's the main thing there is that ritual block. And then you just hook up the rest of the redstone and stuff. That thing, I love it. I, j I love it so much. Um, it's going to be difficult to play a pack and not have... Constant, beautiful, daytime, sunny days. <laughs> okay, so anyhow. I think we're done, right? We can just make the thing. We don't need any experience. Oh, yeah, we need it to be a tier 3 forge. Kind of forgot about that part. Um, How do we do that? <laughs> so, I need... Huh. I need spawner scrap and arcane crystals. 10 souls and 6,000 blood? I guess. How much of this stuff do we have? Not nearly enough. Okay, so... In other words, let's uh, let's make as many of these as we can just to get this guy topped up. Um, so let's go polished. Um, this stuff is what we need, but we need it to be just normal block, right? And then also at forbidden, cool. Let's just craft a stack of these. I'm sure that'll be fine. Boom, 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 boom. Um, let's go blaze. Hold on, blaze. What we'll do here is I'll just order like 100,000 and we'll never have to worry about that again. How does that, how does that sound? That sounds pretty good, yeah? So we'll go here. We'll craft eight. What what don't we have? Bone meal. There's no way I don't have bone meal, but we'll pretend that I don't. Um, next up is at forbidden again. And we're going to make some more of this. Cool. So we can do this, 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 and this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Talk about a building block, though. This thing is very beautiful. Cool. So we've got eight of these now, or however many there are. Um, and this value should hopefully be going up a lot higher or a lot faster. It doesn't really... Yeah, it, I mean, it'll figure out what it's doing. Souls, though, we need 10. So I guess we'll just quickly get those done. Uh, the blood as well, we do need some more, so I'll keep that on. Maybe I'll move a bit just so we don't have to hear that sound. I could probably just mute it, but it's fine. Um, soul sand, um, uh, we needed 10, but I'm obviously going to need some more. In fact, the tier three needs 50. <sighs> okay. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll do, um, I don't know where we'll do it. We'll probably just do it down here. Just a quick little setup. Um, let's grab a constructor. And, I mean, I do not need that that level. Let's just get... Why not? <laughs> and a destructor I'll need. So let's, um... Yeah, sure. I mean, what's the point? I need... I need this. Let's just get... Yeah, let's just do elite ones. That seems much more doable. Let's go back to constructor. Just get some, some good old-fashioned ones. <laughs> I, could, I could probably use a modular route a bit. We're already here. That's fine. Um, so, I'm going to have this guy... Ideally face this way. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to place this. I'm going to have constructor there. And then I'm going to have destructor on top. Um, the destructor is going to have soulless. Soul 
Let's sand. Cool. And that will be whitelisted. And then this guy is going to have soul sand. Cool. So there we go. So he places soul sand. The other guy will pick up the soul less sand whenever that's done. And all I need to do, realistically, is hold right click here. And as you know, I don't even need to let go of holding right click. It automatically does everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, I need a lot though. I needed 60. I mean, we've got to try if there's a way to automate this because that is very rough. Let's go activator and we'll see if modular routers can do it because I don't know if I've used these in the past. Like trying to do this. Action right click. We don't want it to sneak. We just want to hold right click. And that's all we want to do. Let's have let's have it just do everything. Always continue. Try your best. Look level. Yep. Okay. Right click. Right click entity. Attack nearby entity. Right click. We might have to do the opposite of that, but we'll see. So that goes in there. And then this goes in. <laughs> Nothing yet. I will... I'll tell you what. I'll put speed upgrades in there just because you never know, right? Doesn't look like it's working. Fair enough. Let's open this guy up. Let's do right click entity. Nearest entity in range. I... One thing, I don't really see that working, but I don't know, worth a try. Um, so that doesn't work. I've tried in the past integrated dynamics. It's possible that it now magically works, but I'll be honest, I think I'm just going to stand here and right click it. I don't want to spend too long trying something that, at least in the past, in a similar pack, hasn't worked. Um, so I'll be back. Hold on, just before I do go back, what do we need for the next tier? A lot of, the blood's easy. We don't need experience for either. We just need more of that stuff. Chiseled. Yeah. We can we can do it. Like that that's all fine. Um Yeah, the souls is the only tricky part. You know what? In saying that, does it mention if there's an easier way to get souls? Souls. Souls are gathered by creating a soul extractor and then using that's all it says. Very interesting. Um Forge requires different items, cool. We get a few bonus souls at least. Sure. Uh, boom. And then blood. Blood is to get collected by crafting test tubes and killing mobs with the mystical dagger. Test tube must be in your... You don't even need to do that. I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool way to go about it, but... I mean, as seen, you do not need to. Cool. All right. Well, I... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll play on my phone for a bit. <laughs> There's no way around this, sadly. That I know of, I should mention. That I, there might be a way. It, I'll try most things that are suggested um, in the comments. Whether I do it on camera or off camera, I'll, I'll give them a try. But yeah. Alrighty, I am back. I have lent something on my mouse and I went and lived my life. And we have almost two stacks of souls. Cool. <laughs> I highly suggest doing the same. We also, as you may see, have another issue. What is happening? So that guy's making, soul, making nether quartz, soul sand... Soul sand's being created here. And then it should be importing the quartz, but it's not. I think all we need just to solve this is one of our dimensional chests um, and an item collector. I think that's probably going to be a quick and easy solution there. Let's put most of that away. Boom, 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 pow. Um, boom, boom, uh, boom, whitelist. Cool. So now when that stuff's on the ground, it should hopefully get picked up, which we can test here. Yeah, cool. Wonderful. Awesome. So, <laughs> we've got the souls. That was the big tricky part. Am I correct in thinking that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I for honestly, I forgot we had this thing running. Hold on. Let's... Ah, we can let them land. That's fine. This doesn't happen too often in the pack. Oh, I guess you get Inferium for that as well. But anyhow, this guy is now full of blood. 10,000 blood. We've got plenty of souls, so let's go ahead and chuck them in. There we go. 10 out of 10 souls. We've got all of the other stuff that we require. So now we make the upgrade. So it looks like we need eight pedestals and an Edelwood plank. So first things first, at Forbidden. We have spawn a scrap. Thankfully, I wasn't actually sure if we would. So that's very good to see. Um, so four scrap. We have an Edelwood plank, which I think is what it needed. Am I wrong? I'm right. And then I've already forgotten. And then four arcane crystals. Cool. All we need now are the pedestals. So how do we do that? Oh, you just make them. 
So we're just gonna need eight of those. Oh, why did they? I didn't like the recipe I just saw. <laughs> All right, let's go um, pedestal. Here we go. Magnetized. That's pretty cool. So what do I need? I need a bunch of these. Boom. Six. <laughs> All right, we need a, we need a lot more of those. So let's um let's make some more ingots. Okay. Great progress on the ingots. Love your work. Let's search bone meal real quick. And let's order 100,000 <laughs> to solve the bone meal problem as well while we're at it. Okay, you go there. Bam! Nice. So now we're just out of the phantom membrane. That We can be out of that. I'm okay with being out of fa phantom membrane. I think the sheep just uh, committed not live. Unlucky. <laughs> he tried. Okay. So, arcane goodie. We grab some of this. Wonderful. Now we make um, at least this many slabs. Cool. We then search uh, pedestal, arcane pedestal, boom. Darkstone pedestal. Darkstone pedestal? Yeah. Uh, so we just need a pillar now, which is going to be two of these things. Cool. Let's get a little bit more of this. Awesome. Let's go here. Bam. How much is that? Five. Okay. We need a little bit more. <laughs> Hold on. We can do this. Let's switch it. So I need five, six, seven, eight. No. Uh, one, two, three, four, eight. Is that how that works? Yeah. Eight. Cool. So now we just see if we have enough to make this. Boom. One. Okay. <laughs> and now I need more polished. That's fine. We can do that. We've got a stack of it. And voila. Eight dark stone pedestals. So we'll go through here and we'll pick these up. Is it going to drop us a full... Oh, awesome. It drops us a full um, obelisk. So you don't have to worry about, you know, using up dust each time to try to slap this thing together. Very nice. So you can mix and match them. That means you could probably set up some automation to uh, swap them out as needed. That'd be pretty cool. It, it honestly, it would probably look cool. Um, so we'll place eight pedestals down. Like so. Cool. Um, then we'll place our scrap. So four scrap goes down. Then four arcane crystals. The scrap is um, spawner scrap, just to clarify. And then the um, edelwood plank goes in here in the center. And... Then something happens. <laughs> we've got the blood, we've got the souls, we've got everything that we need. I just need to make it happen now. Upgrading the foot. Oh, it's this thing, right? Yeah, we need a gavel. All right, let's get a gavel. Let's go gavel. Um, let's grab, how difficult are these to make? Can we do, oh, you need to upgrade. Oh, blacksmith gavel head. And then we just turn that into a diamond one. Cool, awesome. Oh, quest complete. So we've done a bunch of quests. We'll get those rewards, why not? We got the pedestal, cool. Got these, nice. We got this, awesome. And then our next step is upgrading the forge. So if I right click now, it begins. So it's absorbing stuff, sort of mystical agriculture style, I guess. Let's maybe, oh, uh, grab a screenshot or, or two. We might do more in the future, but there we go. So it's, it's doing it. <laughs> it's making it happen. Any second now. We'll have an upgraded forge. So I assume it's just going to upgrade the forge entirely as it sits. Uh, oh, we've got some particles coming off the ground. The thumbnail just got a little bit better. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Oh, whoa. An explosion happens and we now have a tier two. We can see because we have higher capacities um, for everything, which is pretty cool. So the souls we can chuck in and fill that guy up. Very nice. Uh, we can put the rest in. Why not? Um, now the Oriel stuff, if we want to go to the next tier, we do need another thousand in there as opposed to 500. So I will have to replace those. I don't actually know how fast they were. So we'll, I don't know, cross our fingers a bit there in terms of how long this will take to charge it up. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, I was going for a little bit, so I don't actually know how long it does take. We'll see. I am also curious. Can I like, can I just time in a bottle one of these? I mean, you can see the rate at which it's going. It's not crazy. If this works, doing this to one of them would be crazy here. It would reflect with an incredibly large amount, right? Especially if I did that. I, th I think it's working. I want to say it's working because I feel like that's going up by a massive amount. That just went up by over 100. 140 that went up by. I don't know how exactly it works. My guess would be that these all gather stuff, and then once every, I don't know, second or few seconds, it updates this guy. Because, I mean, we've already got what we want. How ridiculous is that? I'll let this guy run a little bit longer, just until we use up all of our time there. In fact, you know what? Let's 
Bro uh... Yeah, okay, so it's done now. So, so now let's watch and see if that actually did work. This one might be a big one. No, it's not even. It only went up by, like, 15. Not even. I think it went up by 8. How cool is that? So the time in a bottle does work. There you go. Learn something new every day. Um, what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to place a pedestal and see if I can do this. Oh, yes. That is a lot faster than actually breaking the um, the pedestals. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. I've, I've cracked the case. All right, cool. Um, blood, we've still got plenty. We might need a bit more, though. How much do we need? 9,000? All right. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, you know what? I will mute this. Um, market? Nope. What, what would you call this guy? Emerald Muncher. But do they have different names? No. Okay. So, oh, relax. Falling farming for blockheads. So it's the falling sound stopped. And then the villager hurt sound. And then it sounds like the villager fall sound. <laughs> Is that one? Villager death. That's that sound. Cool. So we'll have that quiet as well. And I don't mind the sound of it hitting the ground. Cool. Yeah, sweet. So, how much blood do we have? Oh, we've got plenty. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Very nice. <laughs> Love your work, me. Um, all right, what else do we need for this guy? Arcane crystals and the ingots. That should be easily doable. At forbidden. I require one more ingot. There we go. And then I need four crystals. Um, what goes in the middle? Question of the day. Answer is chiseled, polished... Darkstone. Cool. Sweet. All right. Well, I will quickly slap these down. Da, 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 da. That guy goes in the middle and we'll hit it with our gavel. Pow. And it begins. I imagine as well, I can speed this guy up. And as you can see, the particles fly a lot faster. Um, oh, and then it's done. I got a screenshot, I think, right in the middle of that. <laughs> um, but cool. So this is now a tier three. So, wonderful question. You didn't ask? Exactly. Let's... No, I think we've got enough of this. We've got souls. We've got blood. I think we're good to go, right? Yeah, we're good to go. Okay, so... <laughs> um, Shall we? I think we shall. Now, first things first. B. These are the bees we have. You'll notice none of them are a diamond bee spawn egg. Does that mean that I need this? Possibly. It's kind of looking like that's the case. Okay, so... Let's search diamond. We don't have a diamond bee, allegedly. And they're probably right. To do that, we need a lapis bee and an ender bee. This is where it might get a little bit messy. Lapis bee and an ender bee. So, ender bee, allegedly we don't have. And a lapis bee we don't have either. The lapis bee is a blue banded bee and a redstone bee. If I search blue banded bee, we have one. If I search redstone bee, we do not. Okay. Redstone bee is going to be chocolate mining and glowing. If I search um, chocolates mining, we don't find one. To get that guy, we need just pretty much any old nest. And then a glowing bee, allegedly we don't have either. I'm pretty sure we've got these. I, I thought this was going to be a lot. I thought the bee was going to be the easiest part. What do we have in here? Mason bee. Yeah, we don't have the bee we're looking for. Hmm. All right, so dirt nest, gravel nest, or sand nest. We've got a bunch of stone nests here that we allegedly do not need, so we'll pick those up. Um, let's search nest. There's none. Let's just search dirt, and let's see if we can do that. Um, of course, we need wooden swords. We don't have wood. <laughs> what, what's happening? They're not called planks, are they? No, aren't they called? Oh, they're called oak. Oh, my God. Okay, sure. <laughs> so, I really need to fix this. Um, anyhow, that's a bunch of nests. Cool. Let's go in here and search dirt nest. Bam. Let's craft 11 of them. Sure. Let's jump up here. Place them down. Um, this shouldn't be too bad because the treats we should be able to make a ridiculous amount of. So I'll start ordering a bunch. I'm not sure how long they'll take to craft. They look pretty good at the moment. Um, and we will begin, I guess I will, um, what should we call it? Grab a cage, a rage cage, Boom. cool. Okay, so we can hold right click and as you'll see at the top, the timer will go down pretty quick. 
And so we're just after a chocolate, uh, chocolate bee, <laughs> I guess. So fingers crossed that's what we get. Three seconds that guy's got. Let's search honey treat as well. Grab all those out. Um, Ashy mining bee. Um, I'll grab it. I'm pretty sure we've got that, but you know, we'll grab it just in case. Lower this guy down as well. Cool, that looks pretty good. Oh, there we go. Chocolate mining bee. That was from the first one we did as well. I got these all primed. Um, cool. Now I just need a glowing bee. Is that... <laughs> oh my god, I... Oh god. How long do we have? We'll see if we can do it this episode. We're going to be really pushing our luck, I think. Let's go lava ender. I don't know if we have a glowstone area set up here. Allegedly not. Um, let's go ahead and chuck in a glowstone nest. Nest is empty. I need, I need quartz, I think, in order to do that. Let's give that a shot. Um, I'll double check first, though. Glowing bee is glowstone dust. Good thing I checked. That would have been an annoying trip back and forth. So let's grab some of that. I think that'll be fine. Chocolate mining bee, cool. Lava ender. <laughs> Okay, glowstone dust. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and spam this guy down. I think it's the only thing that can spawn here, surely. It's a glowstone nest. Um, so we'll just use it all up. And that should be pretty easy. Alrighty. One second, and... Ta-da! We got a glowing bee. Cool. Okay, let's head back home. We're going to have to double check. <laughs> see what we're up to. So I have glowing bee. I have chocolate mining bee. Um... That what's the, what makes a redstone bee, the blue band bee we have, ender bee we now need, which is endstone and popped chorus. How do we not have an ender bee? That seems so crazy to me, but apparently we don't. Um, all right, let's go chorus. We need popped chorus. So let's go ahead and I guess pop some chorus. There we go. Boom, boom. And we'll jump to the end, which will be, this is probably the easiest, the unobtainium mining jewel that we've got. Okay, relax guys. Cool. Um, I will say as well, the mecha suit's pretty good for just tanking hits. As you can see here, like, can he even hit me? He can't even hit me. That I mean, that's pretty good because these guys are so annoying. They teleport you when you when they hit you normally. Um, we've got all these. Is that endstone nest? We don't have an endstone nest. Gotcha. <laughs> what was those for then? What was those for? Draconic bees? Is that what that was? Um, end nest. Cool. Iron sword, endstone nest, love your work. Let's go back here. Uh, boom and boom. Cool. For a second it didn't work. I was like, ah, uh, guys, <laughs> sort of the whole thing here. All right, what do we got? Two seconds, one seconds, and ender bee. Cool. It didn't really look like an ender bee, but it allegedly is. Okay, so let's go back home. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh and breed these bees, shall we? Um, before we do that, let's go ahead and clear this area because I'll probably turn this into the bee breeding section, I guess. So I'll pick those up. I'm going to pick up all those. I'm going to pick up this. And we'll pick up that last guy. Cool. So um, this can go away along with all those. That should be fine. That can go away. That can go away. That can go away. Cool. So first things first is chocolate mining bee and glowing bee. Let's get that out of the way. Chocolate mining bee, glowing bee. Um, these will be bred with, I guess, just flowers. I think you can use flowers for all of these. So, boom and boom. And we'll go flower and flower. And we should get three bees out of this. You, you, and then the little guy. Cool. Preemptively, before we even continue, just because I know it will take a few seconds at the least, let's go ahead and chuck this guy in an incubator. So, the child redstone bee, get him incubating. What's next? Um, so, that's for lapis, right? So, I just need to wait for that guy. And then the end B, we combine those two. Yeah, cool. So I, I literally just need to wait for this guy. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and... I know, I know he's not taking that long, but... A little bit of speed up. Never hurt nobody. Can I grab it? Nope. Let's search redstone B. Awesome. So we're going to combine redstone B and glowing B. No. We're going to combine redstone B and blue banded B. So not you, but you. Awesome. Um, we'll go back in our, in our cage over here just to be safe. So you and you. And we go boom and boom. Cool. And that should get us a few things. You, you, and then tiny little lapis bee. Awesome. All right. 
once again, we'll quickly send him down here to get him fixed right back up. Let's chuck in, where are you? Lapis B, awesome. Speed it up just a little bit. Get him nice and done. Got plenty of time in there. We've got a full day's worth to use. And we now have a Lapis B. And so I, can, I might be able to just do it here real quick. Ender B and Lapis B. Um, Ender B, Lapis B, combine the both. That, is that, is that working? <laughs> yep, cool. Little Diamond B and quickly chuck in. Where is he? Little Diamond B. And we'll get use of some of that uh, speed up time that we had. Yes. Diamond B, cool. Um, now, Diamond B. Yeah. This will be interesting. The reason I said it'll be interesting is because I'm planning to what? I'm planning to mutilate this Diamond B to get a honey treat to make the spawn egg. Because that's the only way that we get our hands on this guy. Um, Niotic Crystal B. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Because the Stellarite B, let's just double check. The Stellarite B isn't an option. You have to make this. And we obviously don't have one. We need, a, we need a harvester. Which means I need two. Which means what I should be doing here is jumping over to the breeding chamber. Removing those two, which is going to be the wasted radioactive. We can actually put a lot of these away. And we just want to combine these two. That's all we want to do. How many do we want? For now, just this. Because then I guess we'll just breed the diamond bees as per normal, I guess. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, we could also... I don't know how much we have laying around. Do we have any laying around? Very high productivity? No. How many draconic bees do we have laying around that are very high? Oh, we've got a lot. Yeah, let's just grab like these. <laughs> let's chuck these in here. Let's lower this. And just squish them all, shall we? How does that sound? Let's maybe clear our inventory just, just ever so slightly. But then let's squish all those bees and just reap the rewards, shall we? I think that's a wonderful idea. So let's turn this off. And we're now going to get filled up with those, which is fine. Um, that guy should be done, which means Diamond B should exist. He might not be extracting. It's fine. We'll, we'll get that in a second. Um... Oh yeah, he's not actually. Let's put the cage in there. Cool. He'll, he'll get that. He'll get done soon. Um, while that's happening, I should preemptively be chucking those in there. Are we? Can we squish you, guys? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I bet you I don't have. I, I bet you we had bottles in there, and that's what we're missing, right? Let's have a look. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, um, what I want to do as well is on this guy, can I say squashed B material? And then if I put that in there, does that go in there? Squashed. No, not currently. But what if I say exact mode off? Wait, what's that doing? Wasted radioactive. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Sulfur. Wait. Wait. I think it's... Yeah, okay. So we... Yeah. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I get you. Let's go exporter. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> exporter here. Let's do that. Exact mode off. Cool. Let's, um... Put those away. And then let's do this. Eh? Huh? And then if I put those in there... Yeah, you can see it's... Might be working. I think it's working. Cool. All right, that's done. I can turn that off. We've obviously collected a few more squished stuff. Cool. So it all got squished. That should have gone in here. We'll turn this on. And this will have a little bit of work out of it because it has to sort everything. Now, there might be a problem. Let's have this guy only work with redstone. And then let's give it an empty spot to work with, perhaps. Why is it still... Oh, because it's got redstone. Only work without redstone. There we go. All right. So this should start sorting. I can probably chuck in most of these back and they'll get uh, combined or whatever. Cool. Yeah, yeah. This is how I wanted it to work, right? Because then when I flick this off, it'll fill up. Then I flick it on and it will 
Yeah, yeah, cool. So for example, I flick this for a second. And now there's no redstone, which means this guy should be working. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this guy should be pretty much done. Um, so these should be, yeah, the very high productivities. We've got, obviously, quite a few of them. Um, and so, that'll be fine for now. We'll wait until we have two Stellarites to go any further. Um, diamond Bees. These are going to be annoying, let me tell you. Um, why are they going to be annoying? Because I need, I think, a lot of them, to be honest with you. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. I've got a New Zealand accent, apparently. An awful one, but it's there. Let's grab two sunflowers. All right. Let's put a stack in there with those. That'll just make bees forever. Do I do the same in here? I don't... Uh, these are empty. Did I, did I do that? Interesting. Okay. Um, diamond bee child, diamond bee adults. Yeah. How many do I need? Like, from what we just squished them, we squished a lot of Draconics. They, they appear here. We have 11 to show for it. We squished at least like 20 something, right? And we've got 11 Draconic um, samples to show for it that are 100%. I require at least two Diamond B thingies. So as you can see, we're in a bit of a predicament. Um, I'll tell you what I will do. I will just speed this guy up like crazy. Let's go full speed on this. Let's have extra cages um, prepared, if I can figure out how to spell. Let's have the flowers prepared as well. I don't think we need more, but let's keep this stuff topped up. Because last thing we want to do is waste all that uh, time speed up stuff. For obvious reasons. Um... Cool. I mean, this is a lot of bees. Let's let's uh, at least get some of them processing. Diamond bees. There's going to be a vast uh, variety because they're all different, you know, qualities or whatever. Speeds and whatnot. Oh, they're all pretty much the same speed. I guess just tolerance and temper and stuff. Health. Um, but yeah, so they should all get slowly grown up, which is cool. This guy's done, which is awesome. We'll grab the rest of these guys that remain. Um, do we speed these guys up? I don't know. Maybe we do. <laughs> Maybe we do. Um, they're all trials. Yeah, cool. How much time do I have? That's okay. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, we've got two adult bees here. I'll tell you what, let's see how much that's going to get us. How does that sound? So we'll chuck these two in here. We'll turn it on. We'll get our two squished thingies. We'll, oh, what have we got? A bunch of sulfur that came through. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Can we, uh, hurry it along, please? Thank you. And squished bee stuff. Awesome. So, what do we get from that? Um, so it fills up there. We rack like this so it sorts it all. Wonderful. Looks beautiful. Cool. Um, and so, what do we have? <laughs> so, they're the pink ones. We have 51% on the diamonds. So that was from two. So assuming that it's perfect, we are going to need six more diamond bees that have grown up. Actually, you know what? I've just realized you might be able to squish the children. Let's let's have a look. I've got 16 here. <laughs> um, let's chuck them in and give it a shot, shall we? They... Are not getting squished. Interesting. Okay, here's what we are going to do. We are going to attempt to pick up every single one of them. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know there's a bee catcher, like a baby bee catcher. We're gonna see if we can uh, do it without. Um, I would like to capture you, bee. Oh, cool. Did we miss any? Possibly. One will, uh, one will appear somewhere at a later date. Oh, there he is. I mean, they are beautiful. Like, just having them around the base might be pretty, but we'll stick to our guns. All right, all of you go in there. Cool. All right, so we have to do the adult bees. That's fine. We've got six. Oh, so we've possibly got exactly what we want here. Excellent. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Turn it on. 
We'll get out goodies. Yep. I mean, I guess I just have to put them in here, right? And they should automatically get uh, sent out. We can close that. Um, turn this off so it fills up. As you can see, working perfectly. Turn that off. All right, let's see. We just need two 100. Well, realistically, we only need one, but I want to try to breed the Stellar IPs, obviously, after we get them. So let this sort itself. All right, what are we looking at? Um, I always forget. It's the purple. Yeah, so those are Draconics. 100% Diamond. We have one, and then we have almost another one. Cool. So we've got a few more to join the party. Let's give it a shot. Two, three, cool. Let's turn that off. Awesome. Let's turn that on. So one diamond here. So this should become two, correct? Maybe. Draconic diamond. Tw oh yeah, two. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Sweet. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's search um, honey treat. Let's craft two of these, shall we? Um, two honey treats. And I think I want to just combine them like this, right? Before I do it, is that what I do? Let me double check. For this thing. Egg, honey treat with the diamond, and you get the, the spawn egg. Cool. So yeah, we'll craft two of these. We will get two eggs. Awesome. And then what does it go into? An incubator. Do we have one? Bottler. I don't think we have an incubator lying around. Let's search incubator. Here we go. We did, oh, we're missing wheat. Missing six, available three. You know what? We did have wheat automated a long time ago over here. Cool. Wheat is successfully automated once more. <laughs> Not automated, but you know, we got it. Awesome. Quickly bring this back and give this a shot. Fingers crossed, guys. Um, so you'll go there. I will give you power. Awesome. They go in and this goes in. And then, assuming that it has speed upgrades, I'll probably need to speed it up anyway. Um, we should get what we want. Eh, it could definitely be a little faster. <laughs> a little faster. There we go. So that's one Diamond B spawn egg. Brilliant. And two... <laughs> come on, come on. Diamond B spawn eggs. Awesome. We now head over to our forge. Simple. That looked crazy. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we head over to our forge and we do the thing. Yeah, we've got enough to probably do two of these, I think. Assuming... Yeah, I think we can. All right. Expetrified orb, stellarite pieces. So, um, expetrified... No, just XP. Expetrified orbs. We'll grab those. Stellarite pieces. We ended up getting a ridiculous amount. How many do I need? Three and four. So, three of you and one, two, three, four four of you. Let's grab our ritual. Let's grab our forbidden <laughs> blacksmith gavel. That's what it's called. And oh, my bad. And begin. Awesome. I'll tell you what as well. I might just speed this guy up and I'll snap that as a thumbnail, I think. There we go. Just because this is obviously the actual cool thing happening. So there it is. That's it. Done. Stellarite B spawning. How cool. Let's try to be quick while we've got the speed. Sorry to ruin the uh, the moment, but here we go. Here we go. Boom, boom, and pow. All the stuff flies in. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, this, this is pretty good. And there we go. Was that a diamond? You know what? I'll let that diamond bee live its life. It, it managed to get that far away. It's, uh, it's earned it, to say the least. Okay. So, we're not done yet. We're almost done, but not yet. What I need from this guy is some productivity very high. I'm going to grab two of those. We probably won't breed them this episode, but we'll we'll do that like next episode or something. We'll mass produce a bunch. Ah, uh, you know what? We could probably do it this episode. Okay. Let's search cages. Let's grab two of them, I guess. Let's search honey treats. Let's get a few of those in the system. Cool. So I need some of these very high productivity honey treats. And then we'll have our bees. Okay, are you ready? Let's uh, let's put this to the test. So inside here, we will spawn one of the bees, apply it with the trait, and then pick it up. And this now has very high productivity. And it works during the day. Brilliant. Let's try this again. Place one of you. Very high productivity. Pick him up. We now have two. The question is, can they 
actually breed amongst themselves. It says the beast species cannot, but in the past we've seen that it doesn't really matter what it says. This guy just works. In saying that, it does not. Stellarite B, Stellarite B. There you go. So diamond bees, we still might need a bunch of them if we do want to get more Stellarite bees later on. Very interesting. But for now, we've got two. <laughs> let's uh, let's put them to work. So what does the Stellarite B need? Let's, let's double check this and I'll hook it up ready for next episode. Um, Stellarite B requires a Stellarite block, which luckily we can afford since we got so much from the uh, Chunk Destroyer. Boom, Stellarite block. And that's it ready to go. Now, in the past, we set up a thing over here. I keep forgetting to check it. Do, do we care? You know what? Maybe we do care. We'll, we'll check. Someone remind me to check. <laughs> to check these for the next episode, I guess. I'll empty them now. I know it's... Hold on. I should just do this so that they empty at least roughly in the same time. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what that ends up looking like. That's okay. I just put the block away. Grab that back out. Um, let me search Omega. We've got four of these. Brilliant. Um, what can I, what can I yoink? Is there one of these I can just, let's take this one. Let's go cages. Let's grab five of these. Chuck them in to absorb all of these guys. I'm going to remove the dragon egg, place in the Stellarite block. Um, we'll remove all of these once this guy's out. Cool. We'll place in four Omega upgrades and we'll put in our two Stellarite bees. And they will get to work. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, um, I'll tell you what I'll do as well, just to end this episode so that we can actually see them in action. I'll fully speed them up and we'll see if we get a single eternal stellar. Now, the whole point of this is that you get one every 1% 1 of the time. Okay. So let's have a look. Let's 256 times this stellarite combs. Now you get them when you get the combs. That's when the chance happens. It's not when you process the combs, it's actually when you get the combs themselves. So each time this is happening, there's a- oh, 42? What? Hold on, let's- Oh my god, hold on. Let's take that out so that they can actually empty properly, because I guess it can't move them in a full stack at once like we can. Yeah, look, I can't even place them back down. Oh my god, hold on. That is ridiculous. 42? Okay, well. There you go. Um, we did upgrade it. I guess we'll take that. Um, Eternal Stella we've gotten. The Apply Item Modifier. Let's grab that uh, real quick this episode and we'll give it a shot. The Apply Item Modifier. Let's grab one of these out. And let's, let's, let me show you this in action. Um, you know what? We'll grab two. Let's search, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you know what? We'll just grab one. <laughs> let's search Eternal Stellar. So here we go. Let's put it to work. So the way that it works is, um, if we go into the smithing table, we have something like our steel paxel. I'm assuming this works. That has durability. You can see it has 4,000 total, 4,470. We put in the smithing template. We place in an Eternal Stellar. And it no longer has durability. Just at all. It's not a matter of that it repairs itself. It just does not have durability. Pretty cool. Um, and you can apply that to most things. There's some pretty... Or in the past, at least, there's been some pretty crazy things you can apply that to. Um, but I'll tell you what. That amount of Eternal Stellar, I did not expect. That's, I guess, from the Omega upgrades there. Because that's it's meant it's a one percent chance that you get it, and then I guess it's just multiplied by all these. That's so cool. Like the actual amount you get, that one percent of the time. Um. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're having fun. Um. Lots of helpful comments on the last video. Thank you guys. Um. I obviously read through them all. Um. Apologies if I didn't mention it. Oh. Um. In regards to like the importers and stuff. Um. Philip and I don't even I don't think I mentioned, but um the sesh also uh, suggested like entangling them and using importers. Um so big props to props to you for that. Um yeah, thank you guys. Thank you to our donators and our channel members, of course. Thank you to our tier three channel members, um, Melizzy, Final Phoenix 13, uh, Yulia, and Mr. Brendan. Thank you guys, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.